So we seemingly got a brief synopsis of what I'm hoping is the first episode alone of Dragon Ball Super. Because to be honest with you, the premise, if it's just for the first episode, if it's just getting us back into the Dragon Ball verse, then by all means, cool shit, alright, let's get started. We've gotta start off somewhere, might as well start off like this. But I'm hoping this isn't what Dragon Ball Super is gonna be like. Because at the end of the day, that trailer, which that teaser or whatever that we seen a couple days ago and whatnot... I'm guessing it's for, like, the first episode, because a lot of times they use the PBs from, like, footage from the first episode that they already have put together or whatnot. I'm hoping that it's that, because I'm totally fine with that. Whatever. Cool. But if this is something that is going to be, like, a big thing within the series, then... Uh, Toei, this is what you come up with, but let me read the little synopsis that we got. After defeating Majin Buu, life is peaceful once again. Ordered by Chi-Chi to earn money, Goku works even as he wants to train even more. Meanwhile, Goten, about to become a brother-in-law of Adele, sets out on a journey with Trunks to find her a present. Again, as starting off, whatever. Okay, cool, fine. You know, get a little bit of that chummy stuff so we can love the characters yet again like we always have, but... If Goten finding a present for Videl is an ongoing theme or something, unless it's in the midst of like a crazy battle and then at the end of an amazing arc of fighting and all sorts of crazy shit, like, hey, I finally got your present, then that's fine. But if this is what we're in store for for the remainder, and again, I believe this is only for the first episode, so I'm fine with it. I'm not going to rant right now because I, I'm cool with that. But yeah, that doesn't sound like what we're hoping for if that's the entirety of what the series is gonna be like because i mean we've seen if you've seen the uh ova the little special yo son goku and his friends return goku was already kind of working and shit like that and money's always been a problem in the son goku house so to speak so chi chi putting him to work all that makes sense and it's good to start things off with the universe but i'm just saying like that doesn't sound like what we're looking for so i'm really hoping that as soon as shit like that starts off and then things, you know, kick off immediately, we get into the villain popping off because we already seen that god or whatever that he looks like Beerus or whatever. So something is going to happen, hopefully. But yeah, that synopsis, hopefully it's just a very brief thing of like the beginning of the episode. Let me know what you guys think of that. Do you think that that's going to be an ongoing thing? Again, I'm pretty sure we're going to have villains and Dragon Ball Z. It's just that they're going to start it off like this and even so does that kind of deter you a little away from things knowing that it's just like you're gonna start off with goku working i mean i'm watching it regardless as long as it doesn't become like soul leader not type of i want to gouge my eyes out i'm fine because dragon ball it is what it is but yeah what is your take on all this again just a little bit like took him back like that's how you promote the series with a synopsis about goku working and Goten trying to be a good brother-in-law getting a gift. I'm just saying. And your overall thoughts of this. I'm still looking forward to Dragon Ball Super, but it just seems bizarre the way they're... The tactics that they're using, so to speak, to promote this. Like, promote it with Goku continues to train and him and Vegeta train every day and Goten and Trunks are trying to be Super Saiyan 3. That's how you promote a motherfucking Dragon Ball new, new anime. Not this and yeah your overall thoughts but that's all i have for this one thanks for watching hope you enjoyed if you liked anything i had to say or enjoyed the video drop me a like i'd greatly appreciate it and if you haven't subscribed if you could do so as well that'd be amazing i'm for that world and as always people have an awesome day